emotions is often a place for, of inspiration as to why I'll be creative. I feel most creative when I am surrounded by art. My bedroom, for example, I try to make it as creative as possible. And then, bang! Being in London is very inspiring. There's so many different people, it's so diverse. It just makes you feel like anything is possible. I think part of being creative in the future requires you to explore yourself, to make mistakes, trial and error, like I'm doing now. Creativity is basically solving problems in a way that no one else has done before and no one else has seen before. That's also quite a big pressure as well, especially when you have to create to deadlines. Sometimes you can feel like everything's being squeezed out of you and you don't feel creative at all. To me, it means hanging out with people who are also creative and just collaborating with them and bouncing off ideas. Bouncing off ideas is key because it's like an exercise. It's like playing a sport. You have to like bounce off, get to a great idea. It's important to listen to other people regardless of their seniority. That goes hand in hand with being kind, with being understanding and being open-minded. As the world becomes more globalised, we're going to be exposed to people who have grown up in like completely different countries with completely different cultural upbringing and that in itself is something that we have to adapt to. To be able to go out and make meaningful connections and link up with people who you admire or inspire you and be able to have a conversation and confidently introduce yourself, I think is incredibly useful. I want future workplaces to have more like intentional diversity and actually hire people based on skill and like make it a place where every kind of person can feel comfortable. If you're not willing to change or listen to new ideas or new ways of doing things or processes, then you're going to continue doing things in a very static way and that is in conflict with an ever-changing and modern world. Collaboration is going to look like people who at one point could never collaborate now being able to with the use of technology on a worldwide scale. I think it's really important, especially as we go into the future of work, that you have like adaptable skills and you can multitask and you're open to learning new tasks and new skills because I think more and more jobs are going to be taken by technology. That human part of us where we're empathetic and we're able to judge someone's energy and how they're feeling, that really sets us apart from all the technology. We're going to really need that when it comes to collaborating in the future. I think communication is the most important one because if you can't do that then people just, you get lost, people forget you're there and you don't have a say. I want to feel like I'm in a place where I'm surrounded by people who are here based on their skill set and I'm exposed to like different perspectives, just the diversity that isn't like a tokenistic, let's fill a quota vibe. Alongside the climate crisis, I think there will be a need for us to cut back quite drastically on the amount we travel. So I think technology will enable us to continue collaborating globally.